Hello everybody and welcome to The Long Dark. This is a survival game that takes place in the Canadian wilderness. Um, I'm a big fan of survival games. Uh, I'm going to be putting up some on the channel in a little bit. So I figured we'd go ahead and get started with The Long Dark. Um, currently there's no story mode because it's an early access alpha version 2.44.244. So the only option available right now is Sandbox Mode. You currently have Pilgrim, Voyager, and Stalker. We're going to go ahead and select Voyager, which is the medium level. We're going to go ahead and select Confirm. It's going to ask us to choose our survivor. Uh, right now there's just a random male and female character. We're going to go ahead and select the male for now. And then there's three regions. You can unlock these regions by starting in this first region, and then as you explore, you can then unlock these other two regions, and hopefully if we survive long enough, maybe we'll get a chance to unlock all three of them. So a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? That currently is the goal of sandbox mode, basically, is just to see how long you can survive in the game. You need to collect food, fire, heat, those kind of things. Um, there's a quote from I Am Legend. It's a great book. Um, I highly recommend it if you want to check it out. And we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to hit tab, and we're going to bring up our inventory status screen. Um, what it shows up here is how many hours of daylight we have left. That's very important because once it gets night, it is so uh, it is very cold. Um, you know what? I am going because there. I'm going to change the options here. And can I put the? I want to put it on Fahrenheit. Huh. I don't see that option. Oh well. Anyways, so back here we have how many hours of daylight? Then we have our equipment. This is all the items we currently have on our on, in our backpack. Then we can forage for wood. We have our log, which shows us what we've done for the day. We have first aid. We can apply first aid to our body, and these are the first aid items that we currently have. We can start a fire, and we can use our bedroll. This also displays the air temperature, the wind chill, our clothing warmth bonus, our clothing wind chill bonus, and then here are our stats such as our fatigue, how cold we are, our hunger, our thirst, and our calories that we currently have, how long we've survived for. Alright, so it is cold but not too cold, so what we're going to do is we need to go out and start foraging. In this game, I've played it before, and I like to make my way to the cabin that is on the lake. It seems to be a good location for setting up. I know they've added bows into this game since I've played it last, so hopefully we can check that out. Oh, there's a deer right there. Alright, um, let's see, is there anything in here? Oh, we got a knife. First aid kit, some antiseptic, some painkillers. Alright. So I am somewhat familiar with the map, but not extremely knowledgeable. So we're just going to have to kind of explore here. So we're going to go up this way and cut through this little ravine. So, it is, let's see how cold it is. Oh, it's, it's cold. So, we are going to need to find some shelter or hope that it gets warmer soon. I am not quite sure where we are on the map. There is no in-game map that I am aware of, but if this was a real situation, you would not have an in-game map. Oh, I see a bridge or something. I wonder if that's the train track. Uh, we'll go over there and explore. Oh, I would absolutely hate to be in this situation. I think survival is very interesting, but in a frozen, just wasteland like this, there's going to be very little food. It's going to be a trick to stay warm all the time. I mean, the, you know, you're going to have to melt snow or ice for water, which is how you get water in this game. 
I mean, it's just going to be a constant battle for survival. So let's keep heading up this way and hope that we find the train tracks. And then we can continue down the train tracks. Oh, well, let's, oh, I think, is that the dam? Okay, so what I know about the dam in the game is I believe that there is a wolf in here. And I, ooh, we cannot take on a wolf right now. We do not have anything other than the hunting knife. Um, let's see. Yep, this is the dam. See, I believe that most of the time there is a wolf in here. And if that is the case, it could be the end of our playthrough very quickly. So let's go ahead and go in the dam. <coughs> oh, do we have any... Do we have... Uh, we, uh, flare... Oh. Oh, it is dark. Uh, I, I'm, I don't like it. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, the whole goal of this game is to try and stay alive. And if there's a wolf in there, there is not much we are going to be able to do about it. So we are going to take our chances and we are going to come out here. And we are going to follow the train tracks for a long way. So although now we're freezing. Okay, well, this could be a short place through already. Okay, I think that leads to the next zone. Um, let's I've never felt so cold in my life. Well, there's nine hours of daylight left. I do like the graphics in this game, the art style. I think it's kind of kind of cool. Um, you know, and they do keep updating the game. I'm really interested to see how the story goes. Um, I believe there's supposed to be some NPCs and stuff like that because I know you come across other bodies in this game, just no one's currently alive. So that could definitely be interesting and we'll see where they go with that when they finally release. So we're just going to continue following these train tracks and hope that we make it somewhere before our condition goes down to zero. So we're just gonna... Oh, we're at the train loading area. Okay, if I remember correctly, up there, up here a little ways, there should be some derailed... Oh, what there's are a we corpse. here? We got a soda. Could really use some clothes. Oh, I'd love to harvest the meat. Don't worry about how long... Oh, yeah, our... That may have been a mistake. No, look at our footprints. That's cool. Okay, eight hours. Oh, and 80%. Okay, we really need to huff it. And hope that we can make the uh, cabin on the lake here before uh, we perish. So in a real survival situation, this wouldn't be a bad idea. If you're uh, wandering and you find some train tracks, try and follow them to civilization because eventually they will get to civilization. It's just a matter of how far away it is, but you're going to want to forage along the way for anything you can. In a frozen area like this, you're not going to have really much luck eating berries or anything because it's just the wrong time of year. All right, there is a derailed train car. There's usually some loot. Sometimes you're lucky enough and there's a rifle that is inside the train car, and if that was the case, that would be very lucky for us this early in the game. Um, the other place it's at a lot of times is the hunter's cabin, which is off over that way, I believe, somewhere. The other thing in this game is if you see birds circling, that usually indicates that there's a body with some loot. So we've got a flare That'll here. Come in handy. Let's check out the first aid kit and energy bar. Uh, 
We've got a container here. And a frozen corpse. We do not want to end up like this guy. A candy bar. There's no jumping in this game, so on this train car you've got to walk up this. And unfortunately I do not see a rifle. And there's a backpack. I got some matches, alright. I don't see anything else. Okay, our condition's <coughs> getting kind of down. Alright, we're going to continue on. We're going to need to find some firewood. We're too cold to forge for it right now, so hopefully if we get to the cabin, you can usually forge inside structures a uh, limited amount of times, and then we can get some wood that way so that we can cook up that meat that we harvested. Because, oh yeah, we are cold, and we're hungry, and we're going to need water also. All the basic necessities of life. So I believe that the cabin is right up here around these rocks. And it is not a moment too soon because we are definitely cold. So let's... There it is. There's... this is the lake right here and there's some shacks, fishing shacks, for ice fishing out here on the lake which we can go ice fishing to get fish, we can go hunting for deer. Um, there's a trail back here. Alright, so let's get over here and go in the camp office. And <clears throat> I think what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and turn this into our base for this area. And that way we have a point that we can always come back to after we go out and forage. So, hmm, I know it's a little dark, so let's see. Let's see if we can... There's usually some firewood in here. There we go. Some reclaimed wood. Try and get just a little light. So let's go over here to the stove. So we've got matches. We've got a tinder plug. Oh, we've got cedar wood. And we've got accelerant. I really want to get a fire going, so let's go ahead and start this fire. Use our accelerant. Now we can add our reclaimed wood. So then it shows us our total duration of fire. And so now we need some. We need to melt some snow. So I'm going to melt a liter of snow. We're going to need a lot more, but we also need food and other things. So let's see, we've still got time, so we're going to go ahead and boil some water. Alright, and then we'll have a little bit of water. And now I believe, yep, we want to cook this venison. So now we should be warming up while we're standing here. And now we're going to cook this one right here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save those pork and beans. I'm going to use the remaining time here to do some more water. So we'll go ahead and melt this one liter because I'm not quite sure how long it takes. So we're going to need to pay a little closer attention to that. Okay, so we got 20 minutes and I want to boil, so let's see how long this takes so that we can get a rough idea for the future. Oh, it took about 10 minutes. Okay, well, we've got two liters of water to start with. Um, there we go. Pull out a match so maybe you can see a little better. So we've got a workbench in here, which is really nice. It can help us craft some stuff later in the game. Gonna Hope nobody needs this the, anymore. The newsprint. So we're going to go ahead and keep looking around here. Oh, some lantern fuel. Oh, and there's a lantern. So let's get the other fuel. And then there we go. We should be able to now use the lantern so that hopefully you guys can see a little better while we look around here. So... We'll go ahead and fill it up. So 
So now we'll equip it. Whoops. Well, since we've got the match out, we'll go ahead and continue using that. Check this file cabinet here. Soda. Jerry can. Bandage. Okay, so let's figure out how we use this right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring this up. Equip this. Set it down. I I am not sure how to turn this thing on. I never actually whoops, use the lantern. Key binding. So equip lantern. I can't believe that I do not see how to do this. Oh, there we go. Hold left mouse button. Okay, much better. Now we can go ahead and we're going to start collecting the rest of the items here. Oh, we got a can opener. See, before we couldn't open the could use uh, this. Uh, some herbal tea. The, por the, the pork and beans can, because without a can opener, although we could use the knife, I believe, so we could have still gotten into it. Oh, well, we're going to be sharing our shack with uh, Bob here. <clears throat> Nothing like sleeping with a corpse. Oh, and he doesn't have anything on him, which is probably why he's dead. So let's go ahead and check these drawers. Nothing. And there are two drawers, so we're going to check the top and the bottom. And there's a bed we can sleep in. We've got another stove up here so we can stay warm. There's a bedroll. I'm not going to take it because we already have one. We'll go ahead and check this cupboard. Alright, we'll grab these painkillers. We've got some What books, have we here? Some newspapers. Nothing over here. Okay. Well, let's see. We've got five hours of daylight left. So, we can go out and we can forge some wood. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the lantern away. Whoops. And now we're going to go outside. Alright, we should probably gather some wood, and obviously we need to start gathering resources so that we can get a nice stock. Um, we're going to need a lot of food, a lot of water. Alright, so we're going to come out here, and we're going to click this, and we're going to forage for some wood. Um, it's going to take a while because we have no... So we want some hardwood so it'll burn longer. So for 30 minutes... Let's go ahead and forage for two hours. Oh no. Oh, well we got our wood, but our condition... Oh, we need food, we're cold, we're hungry, we're thirsty. Alright, so let's go back inside. I could eat anything. And now we need to eat and drink. So let's go to our equipment, and I should have checked that before we... Before we started foraging, so we're gonna have some water. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna eat. Oh, nice. 800 calories almost. We're gonna go ahead and eat this one. Alright, now we're gonna go back and check. Alright, we've got our hunger, we've got our thirst, our fatigue's a little high. So. Hmm. Well, because our condition's so low, I'm thinking we should probably warm up and start thinking about going to bed for the evening. So what we'll do is we'll come in here, go to the wood stove. Um, I 
Yeah, so we'll do that. It gives us a 76% chance of starting the fire. So let's see. Hopefully we'll get it. The When I played this game earlier before, you would have like a 90% chance of starting a fire. And you could still not start a fire like eight times in a row. I, I, it had to be some way glitched. Um, I'm not sure about this version. We'll see. I mean, we should have a pretty good chance of starting the fire. Yay, fire started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go in here. We're going to add our one, one of these fir woods. There we go. And now we're going to do a little snow melting. So let's go ahead and do five. Let's get a nice allotment of water so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, and so now we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and add this one. We're going to boil up the five that we just did. So now we should have a nice supply of water for the day. Alright. So let's see, we've got some herbal tea, we've got some pork and beans. Let's go ahead and heat up the pork and beans and we'll use the can opener. So now I use the can opener, now it's going to cook it, then we can go ahead and eat it. Pork and beans added to our inventory. Oh, I just can't bring myself to burn the book. We're not in that dire of condition yet. So we're going to go in here, we're going to go to our equipment, we're going to go to food. We have some pork and beans, we're going to that. Bring our intake up. check our stats so we're still a little hungry our cold is much better now we've survived at least the first day oh, okay so it's it's dark now well we've got an hour left on the stove let's go ahead and let's eat one of these let's see 250 500 Let's go ahead and eat the sardines, why not? Give us a little bit more. Okay, I bet those made us thirsty. Well, it's going up, but it's not bad. Okay, so we've survived the first day. Our condition is at 50%. So we should probably go to sleep. I cannot see, so let's go ahead and open this up. There's the bed over here. So, let's go ahead and rest for, we'll say, six hours. Let's see where we're at. So, we don't know how much darkness is left. Oh, there we go. We've got three of oh. Okay, so our condition's up to 66. It's still dark. We still have a little fatigue, so let's go ahead and sleep for another two hours. condition it's still dark and we need it to be warm so let's go ahead and sleep for another three hours every time you sleep it saves your game uh, there is only one life in this game as soon as you die the game is over so like I said the goal is to see how long it can survive okay so it's now daylight Ooh, I can use a drink so we're gonna want to go ahead and get a drink here and you're always going to need to be melting snow. I mean, you can see you go through a lot of water. Oh, we're also hungry, so let's go ahead and eat our energy bar. We're going to need to go out and forage today. We're going to need to find a source of food. Oh, I can hear the wind, though. I have a feeling it may be a bit cold out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go out here. Let's go ahead and check. 
So we'll go outside and see what the temperature is, see if we can get anything done. Today we're going to need a forage. We're going to need to get a source of food, and we're going to need to get some more items. Oh, it is really cold out right now, so we're going to have to go ahead and wait until it gets a little warmer in the afternoon. So maybe I'll figure out where I'm going to start storing stuff. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off we survived for 21 hours and 57 minutes so almost a full 24 hours I'm gonna go ahead and start figuring out which chests we're gonna use which storage places to store what while we wait for it to get warmer and I'll come back with another episode all right let me know what you think and I'll talk to you later bye